Hi there guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Spibs and today we're just gonna be looking at the new Tesla coil. But uh, before we get into that, I just wanted to thank everybody that supported the channel since the launch of it for reaching a thousand subs. Uh, this was actually my end of year goal. So to hit it three months early is just absolutely awesome. So thank you again, if you've supported the channel in any way. Now I've also launched a Patreon page. So if you wanna support the channel in an additional way, then there's the option to go across and check that out. I also try to regularly post some updates and share a couple of things on Twitter. So if you have an account, then pop over there and uh, check it out. Also, if you need any help with electricity or any particular circuits that you're working on, you can either hit me up in the comments. Otherwise, jump into the Discord. We have an awesome uh, support page there to be able to uh, help everybody and anybody with any electrical questions. Whether you're a subscriber or not, you can go check out that. I'll leave a link in the description. Otherwise, uh, let's get in and check out the Tesla coil. Alrighty guys, so today we're just going to be having a look at the Tesla coil, which has just been introduced to the game. So it's designed as a trap. Um, and essentially, if you're within the radius of the electricity that it's emitting, then you're going to be taking damage. Now, the way that they've set it up is the more electricity that you put into the Tesla coil, the more damage it will inflict. So I've got three Tesla coils set up here, um, just connected to a switch, just for demonstration purposes. The first one on the left, uh, just set to five power, the one in the middle set to 15, and the one all the way on the right set to 35. Now, the reason I chose 35 is that is the maximum amount of electricity um, that it can accept until it stops doing more damage. So you can put more than 35 electricity into it, but anything above that amount will be a waste, essentially. So what I'm going to do in a minute is just go through each and every one and just show you how quickly it will kill you and then we'll talk about it a bit more. But just before we get into that, um, there is one addition that they also added to the game with electricity and that's the ability to see the flow of power. So if you have building privilege and you've got some components connected uh, within that building privilege and you hold your wire tool, you can now see the flow of power. Uh, it is a little bit glitchy, at least at this stage of filming. Um, if you go to certain angles, you can see that it's like almost reflective. It kind of turns white, um, but I'm sure they'll fix that at some point. So this is handy for um, people who may not be as experienced and just want to kind of see where the electricity is going. Um, I wouldn't say it's perfect at this point, at least the way that I would set it up, but they may make changes in the future uh, to make it a little bit more helpful. All right, guys, so we're going to have a look at the Tesla coils now and see what damage they actually do uh, to players. So let's get into it. Okay, so we're going to start on the smaller scale. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn this switch on. You can see that it emits a uh, electrical field. You can also see, um, it's hard to see at the moment, but I'll show you that the Tesla coil does actually take damage uh, while it's emitting electricity. So you can see that it took a little bit of time to get me down pretty low. So I'm gonna heal up uh, and then we're gonna look at the next one. So this time you can see that my uh, health is going down much more rapidly. I'm gonna stop it just before I die. And you can also see that the difference between them since the Tesla coil was running for a shorter period of time, this one has taken less damage. As far as my testing goes, at least at the moment, it's not taking damage um, with the more electricity that is going through it. It's just taking damage uh, based on the amount of time it's actually running. All right, so you can see that that one uh, does the job very quickly. It took a minimal amount of damage, which is uh, an advantage uh, in that sense. Um, but we're just gonna go over a couple of other things at the moment here as well. Similar to the shotgun trap, you can uh, shoot this particular trap out um, if of course you can get an angle on it. So I just wanted to demonstrate um, essentially the damage that you can do with a gun. So I'm just going to use a Thompson here. 
and you can see it's pretty effective. A couple of clips will get the job done. And it's going to be similar here with a semi-rifle as well. So if you are really thinking about using the Tesla coil in your base, you really want to think about placement uh, and the most effective spot to have it. I really can't tell you which is going to be the best spot because it really does, does depend on your base design. But what I am going to show you in a minute is just a basic idea that I came up with um, to be able to use the Tesla coil um, accompanied by stuff that we already have in the game. Okay, so here I just have a little bit of a concept idea that I came up with uh, in the past week or so while just playing around with all of this. So here on the right hand side, I just have my battery backup system, which I've showcased how to build in another video. So if you want to go check that out, the link will be in the description below. Essentially what I have coming from the battery backup system and it's powering is I just have an electrical branch, which is branching out uh, 12 units of power to lead to the switch, which then comes over to power the auto turret along here. I have the switch in place so I can just turn it on and off for um, myself and others to be able to authorize on it. Then what I have is the has target output of the auto turret connected to one of the inputs of this and switch here. I have the other input of the AND switch connected to the power out of the electrical branch. So all the excess power that is getting provided through here is going into the AND switch. Then from the AND switch, we're having it lead out and power the Tesla coil. So what this means is if power is flowing and the auto turret locks onto a target then it will trigger the tesla coil so depending on your base layout this may be advantageous to be able to have in your base um, say at a particular spot that might be able to um, have uh, the raiders or people trying to get into your base baiting the turret even though they're a little bit harder to bait now you could have a tesla coil there to cause them even more frustration and slow them down even more so what i'll do i'll demonstrate exactly what i mean i'll turn this switch on here and i'm just going to move away here so as you can see the tesla coil stays off until the turret locks on and it turns on there when i'm moving close turret locks onto me test the coil activates when i'm out of range of the turret the tesla coil will turn off so essentially if i'm too close i'll start taking damage So again, this is just a really simple concept that I came up with. You can use this new Tesla coil in all sorts of different ways to create all sorts of frustrations. And since it does actually limit movement as well, then it acts um, similar to the flame turret where you can really slow raiders down. So you can use it in combination with auto turrets or even shotgun traps to um, use on jump downs or all sorts of different situations. Anyway guys, I just wanted to show a really interesting way that you might be able to use the new Tesla coil, something that someone may not have thought of already. Obviously there's many, many ways that you can use this uh, in much more simpler methods and I'm sure someone will come up with a really intricate and intelligent way to be able to use this. So just like usual, if you dislike the video, then hit that thumbs down. But if you did like the video, slap that thumbs up, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. All the links that I have mentioned in this video will be in the description below. Don't forget to check me out on Patreon or Twitter, and also the Discord link will be in the description. There's a great community that's formed there, especially in the last month or so. So if you want to be a part of that, come check us out and we'll uh, see you in the next one. Take care.